Hi, it's Candy from Mosaic Moments. Today I want to show you um, a page that I made of my friend's girls out in the snow building a snowman and I made these cute little um, felt mittens that I thought were so adorable. These are actually a Mosaic Moments die. This die which is actually intended to be a border set. This one covers three squares, this one four squares, this one two squares. But these can also pop out and become embellishments on your page. I just bought um, inexpensive felt at the craft store. I got mine at Joann's. Um, it's usually in 9 by 12 sheets and I just cut a piece off the smaller piece um, which I can put my die on here a couple times and run through. Then I'm going to use double-sided adhesive and um, this particular brand is from Elizabeth Craft Designs but any strong double-sided adhesive will work. You don't have to have the adhesive on the back first but it makes it a lot easier um, when you go to assemble your mittens if they already have adhesive on the back. You basically create them into stickers. So this peels off, it's double-sided so one side will peel off and this side is very very sticky and I'm just gonna stick this right to the back side of my piece of felt and I'm gonna leave it just like that for now. Then I'm gonna take my die, we're just using the the one that covers two squares so we get a pair of mittens and my Big Shot machine and I've used the metal plate with this one and this metal plate only is only for the machines made by Sizzix but you can get other thin metal plates that will help your cutting in this um, when you cut out the felt. It just makes it cut a little smoother and easier. If you don't have the metal plate, oftentimes you might have to trim a little bit and that's okay. Now this white felt is the premium felt. Um, it's much thicker than the other felt that I showed you, the red one and the one that I cut the mittens out of. We're just going to put our die on here and make our sandwich like our machine tells us to do and crank this through. And because this one is so thick, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it twice. And that's another trick when you have a die that you're having trouble cutting out. Try it back and forth a couple times. So now you see it cuts out our little mittens and our perfect square. And this would fit our grid paper. We could do it like this. But we want to use these as little embellishments. So let's clear this stuff out of our way. I've already cut out um, a pair of mittens the same way using the brown felt. And then these are just gonna pop right out like this. And then what I'm gonna do is take a pair of scissors and I'm just gonna clip just the edge here because that's the part of the cuff that I want to highlight on my little mittens. So I'm gonna cut just the edge here and then I'm gonna Take this part, and because we put this backing on first, all I have to do is peel that off, and this little section is actually a sticker, which makes it much easier to work with. So I'm just going to take this one, and here's my little brown mitten, hopefully you can see this okay, and I'm just going to lay it right over the top to make our little cuff, just like that. And then when we want to stick this on our page, we just peel this piece off the back side and our mitten is all sticky and ready to go. Isn't that cute? So then you could add it wherever you'd like on the page 